there was a number of different sources that we looked at for the stone, but for both the black and the white. And the sourcing of them started quite some time ago. And what was critical working with Ellsworth in the studio was that it was a stone that was fairly consistent both in the white and the black, but also it still needed to be stone. It, it didn't want to be a, a polished type stone that was highly reflective. Um, and I, I believe as far as I know, this is the first time Ellsworth has, has worked with stone. And so we were able to find um, a source uh, for the white, uh, which is a Carrera marble, um, in Italy. The portion of the quarry where we were able to get this stone, it has somewhat of a protected status because of historical reasons, and that this was the part of the quarry where Michelangelo actually sourced stone from. So there's, there's this historical side to it as well. And then the, the, the black marble um, is actually from a quarry in Belgium, which doesn't have quite the historical significance, but it's a beautiful stone. Peter working with Ellsworth for so many years, me working with him, you know, for the past 15 years or so, and spending time with him and talking to him, when he talks about, you want to fall into the painting. This is what he, he intended to do. I'm an architect by training. I worked with stone, you know, for 15, 16 years. I knew kind of what we were getting to, but this, this was beyond that. <laughs> and it doesn't have to do with the, the, the technical performance of stone. It has all to do with what does it look like? And what is it going to look like when you're done? And is it still going to look like stone?